Hello everyone. Today I'm mixing it up with Gigi. I'm going to be making the best mahi mahi ever. The ingredients will be in the link below. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this small bowl. We're going to be adding the um, half a teaspoon of, I'm using agave. You can use brown sugar or whatever sugar you like. So just a half a teaspoon just to get away from the, um, the tartness. Then we're going to add the dill, which is a quarter teaspoonful. Let me measure that out. I hate these little tops. We go ahead, a quarter teaspoon full of dill. That's there. Then we're gonna put the le amino, liquid amino. And you can use soy sauce if you don't like liquid amino. And that will be a teaspoon. Remember, this is very salty, so you, you don't want a lot. So just a teaspoon of liquid amino or soy sauce. Next, we're gonna add the lemon juice, and I didn't do that, so let me grab a lemon from my refrigerator. Okay, so I grab my lemon juice, and I juice it, and then I pour the juice in there. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and add the wine. Get my measuring cup for the wine. It's a quarter of a cup. And you can use whatever wine you chose. And you're just gonna mix this well. If you had sugar, if you use sugar, just mix it until the sugar dissolves. And make sure you taste it and adjust your seasoning to your taste, okay? Now, we don't like the same thing, so if you don't like some of what I put in, eliminate that and put what you like. Okay. And I can see that I need a little bit more of the agave in mine, so I'm gonna add a little agave. Another um, quarter cup, I mean quarter teaspoon full. And my refrigerator is alarming me that I didn't close it well. I just tear this up and put it aside. Let me taste it again and see what I need. Now I need a little bit more of the liquid amino. And I just put that in there. And keep in mind, if you're gonna use liquid amino, if it's too salty, tone it down. You know, liquid amino is a lot salty, so if you're gonna use liquid amino, please don't put a lot of salt, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna season my, my mahi mahi. And again, use whatever seasoning you like. Put in a little bit of salt um, seasoning. You can use plain salt. I'm using a little bit of um, Maggi seasoning. Then I'm gonna use a tad bit of black pepper on both sides and um, while, that, when I'm, while I'm doing that I'm going to get my pan nice and warm or hot and just make sure these are nicely based with pepper and salt or whatever other seasoning you like okay not too much salt keep in mind that you have a liquid there that you're salty okay rinse my hands Okay, so I have my pan here that I'm going to be searing my mahi mahi in. And it should be warm enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my oil in the pan. Not a lot. This is um, garlic, extra virgin olive oil with garlic. I love that oil because it um, gives the natural flavor that you're looking for. Alright, so now... I'll go ahead and I can tell the, the oil is hot, so I'm going in with my mahi mahi, reduce the heat. Okay. 
I love this pan as well. I'm not selling the pan, but this is a nice pan to sear stuff in and um, doesn't stick whatsoever. So the heat is reduced and I'll sear it for about a couple minutes on each side, okay? All right, let's turn it. There you go. Beautiful. Do the same thing on that side. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna add my garlic, chopped garlic. You can crush it if you like, but I find that you get a better um, appearance when you just slice them nicely. And I'm now gonna also add my butter. And again, it's, um, I'm using this butter. You can use whatever you choose. I'll give that a minute so the garlic can um, do its thing. Oh, that aroma is awesome. All right, guys, so now I'm going in with, remember this mixture? with the dill and all of that and the wine I'm going in with that and you're just gonna let that cook off until the wine is the, the wine is cooked off okay all the way down for maybe about five or so minutes, okay? And I'll just baste the top of it as I go, or turn them if you'd like. But basting is a lot more practical. Now is the best time to go ahead and do a taste test as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guys, my mahi ma is all done. That's it, I'm gonna plate it for you. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, garnish with a little bit of chives. Guys, look at this. I'm not sure if you can see. This sauce is divine. Okay, here we go. Now I'm just gonna garnish with a little more I mean a little bit of chives and here you have it guys here you have it let me get a fork and show you a mahi mahi oh my gosh it's so tender look at it look at that so this is it guys perfectly cooked mahi mahi in garlic butter and herbs okay so this is it um if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and um share and like and god bless